Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to get on the Town Hall 9 account and look into the Gold Lava Loon Army. Now I use this a lot on my Town Hall 10 account, so you guys were asking me, hey, can this be done at Town Hall 9? And yes, of course you can, and it is a lot of fun and very effective. The only difference is you don't have free spells, you don't have quite as many spells, and you don't have quite as many troop spaces. But other than that, I mean, we have high level troops at Town Hall 9. We have max balloons. On this account, I also have the level 2 lava hounds and the level 4 golems. So that's going to help us a lot in this army. Look at this base. It's much lower level than my Town Hall 9, so you know we should be able to 3 star it. And you guys probably see bases like this in your clan wars like mid-level, low-level Town Hall 9s. You've got to be three-starring these. You've got to be because that's how you're going to win wars. And, you know, most Town Hall 9s can be three-starred. These can easily be three-starred. So let's get in there and uh, take this out, guys. You'll notice I put a dragon on the right side. That was just to clear buildings. But normally, you should be using wizards there. You should request a Lava Hound in your clan castle. So you only need to bring two Lava Hounds in your um, camps and then you can bring a few wizards you'll have extra room for wizards wall breakers goblins and and uh, minions which I'll, I'll tell you guys why you need those later but here we're gonna go in the base and there's no distraction so we know our heroes are gonna go into the base that is the most important thing that's why I say use wizards so you can clear those outside buildings now in here we're gonna activate the barb king ability and drop a lightning spell on that clan castle we gotta kill those clan castle troops so then our heroes can work on the archer queen once she's down we're just going to wait until the Arch Queen takes out one air defense, and then it's go time! Once we've taken out one air defense, there's only three left, and I mean, it's just, it's unfair. It's, it's unfair how a base cannot defend itself when it only has, uh, you know, three quarters of its defenses. So here we go, we're going to drop in here on the first air troop drop, we're going to go heavy. I always say go heavy on the first deployment. That means one Lava Hound and about half of our balloon. So in this case, it's going to be about 10 balloons. You want to go hard and you want to put a rage spell down to get to that air defense as quickly as possible. You also have to worry about wizard towers. But on this base, the wizard towers are not that high level. So on the second deployment, we're going to drop our remaining two lava hounds and the rest of our balloons. Most of our balloons. We're actually going to save two. Those want to save like two to four for the... Uh, last side of the base and I'll show you that in a minute so we put our last rage spell down right on that uh, next air defense there where the balloons were converging now we're throwing down two more remaining balloons on the last side of the base just to sort of help out I always do that because you know then it's just those are gonna take out a few defenses and then our main group of balloons doesn't have to worry about those they don't have to go all the way over there you're just trying to get from you know the outside of the base to the defenses as quickly as possible and if you can split your balloons up of course it's going to be faster so boom there we go we've taken out all the defenses that can shoot our balloons now we just have one more cannon and then it's cleanup time and this is what i was talking about guys why you would want to have some goblins when i said that you were probably like what are you talking about but yeah if you have goblins right now they'll help a lot because they're really fast and they can take out mines and pumps and storages very very quickly so they, they really help a lot, guys. I would recommend bringing two goblins and a few minions as well. Maybe even some archers if you're into that sort of thing. But really, when I use this at Town Hall 10, I'll bring like two two goblins. And I think that's it. Maybe two to four goblins. So there we go. Boom! We got three stars. I love it. Dude, this is so fun. You guys have got to try this if you don't already. I mean, if you don't have um, level 6 balloons, don't. And if you don't have heroes that are like level 10 to level 20 don't just wait until you get your troops and heroes leveled up a little bit but uh once you do man this is a this is like hog riders were when they first came out you know just overpowered so easy to overwhelm a base if you do everything you know perfectly and you choose the right base you get in there take out the archer queen take out an air defense take out the enemy clan castle it's a wrap i mean this is an air strategy we're not even going to worry about walls which is one of the best parts except for the beginning and uh so you know you can take out serious bases with this so i'm interested to see how you guys uh deal with this army if you try it out you know if you guys can take out a max town online and send me a picture on twitter i would love to see that so here we go we're gonna try another base but uh we're gonna screw up a lot in the beginning here so the beginning is the most important part you want to make a great plan and stick to it well, while I was doing this, I kind of changed my mind a few times. I ended up making some stupid mistakes here. So I should have tried to go in on the corner, but I 
thought somehow I thought I could jump from the outside all the way into the core. Clearly I can't. And clearly my troops aren't even going to jump into the base at all because I put the jump spell way too deep. So, you know, epic fail on my part. I was laughing for a while at this. I wasn't even mad. I was like, this is so dumb. So we can have a good laugh at this. But guys, this is the most important part of the raid because check it out now. My heroes are going to split up. My golem is just going to sit there like an idiot and die. And, you know, once everybody splits up, the force is weakened. You know, Archer Queen, she can't do much on her own. You know, she can't survive long on her own. And Barb King, he can't do much on his own. And the golem doesn't do anything on his own. So, you know, we really got to keep them together. So that's why the jump spell is so handy. It looks like we had an Archer Queen fight there and <laughs> they killed each other at like the exact same moment, which was pretty sick. Uh, and now we're just gonna go for a Hail Mary. We're just gonna spam everything. If this had worked correctly, I would have deployed on two sides of the base like I did in that last raid and then saved a few balloons for the final side of the base. But uh, this was gonna be a tough one. I, I really wanted to attack this because it was tough versus air because this guy had a couple um wizard towers in the core and they're maxed and he had a couple all of his air defenses actually in the core and they were max level seven and level seven air defenses they take out balloons in two shots boom boom and then with all that other stuff you have in there you know your balloons don't stand a chance so you really got to get through that core as fast as possible so coming in from different directions would have been the way to go so there we go guys was not able to even get two stars because this is really an all or nothing army if i had done that with some minions and spammed them all on like one side i might have gotten the easy two star but with this this style of raid it's an all or nothing raid we're either going to get one star or three stars and that's why it's so exciting guys you know sometimes your balloons might splash on the town hall and, and take it out but normally just go for that three star and hopefully you'll get it you, you know your clan will be happy if, if you get three stars most of the time so try this out guys get good with this army because this is where it's at and it doesn't look like they're really changing it at all i mean this last update nothing changed with lava hounds they improved ground defenses with that new cannon and that's it so this still remains the hottest most powerful strategy in the game right now so definitely use it guys whether you are town hall 9 or town hall 10 it is equally overpowered so check it out guys if you have any questions or just want to you know share with me your experiences with this army let me know in the comments below i'm so excited to hear from you guys all right guys thank you so much for watching as always and i will see you guys next time peace